All right, so what is up, guys? Drive Fusion here today, guys. I am back with another Xbox video, and in today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about Project Scorpio reveal. It was officially today, guys. The Xbox Project Scorpio got reloaded. All the specs. We still do not have a release date, or we do not have a price, but that will probably be changed in I would think June around E3 time. So basically, what you guys have to know about the Project Scorpio, I'm gonna go through everything. Basically, all the you know, all the big specs and everything. Let's so we're gonna hop straight in. So. Project Scorpio is obviously coming holiday 2017, if you guys did not know. It's going to be the world's most powerful council. It says the most powerful council ever, including six teraflops of graphical processing power, true 4K gaming, and compatibility with Xbox One games and accessories. And another thing that I found very interesting, guys, if you look up next thing uh, right here, is this is some of the main stuff that Scorpio is going to have. So I'm gonna read through all four of these, and I'll read you guys the other things. So it's gonna have a one is going to have a Scorpio engine with six teraflops, 322 uh, gigabytes of memory, bandwidth, and advanced custom silicon. The Scorpio engine is the most powerful console gaming processor ever created, and that is true. I checked that up. It is even more powerful than the PlayStation 4 processor. So it also says the vapor chamber, a first for home consoles. Product Scorpio's vapor chamber uses advanced liquid cooling to ensure the Scorpio engine stays cool, and that's also a first. There's never been a vapor chamber on a console to cool it off which is gonna make it really cool so the Xbox does not overheat it also has a centrifugal fan a supercharger uh, style centrifugal fan rapidly pulls in and compresses air to deliver maximum cooling with minimum noise that is absolutely insane and also we have the Hovis method to maximize power and minimize power consumption, Product Scorpio uses the Hovis method, a cutting-edge digital power delivery system that custom tunes each console's each console's voltage. That is really cool. So those four are key components. And also on the bottom, you guys can see True 4K Gaming, six teraflops of GPU, 2.3 gigahertz of custom CPU, one terabyte of HDD storage, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, which is absolutely incredible. That is amazing. Uh, 326 uh, gigs of memory bandwidth, which is really good. 4K Ultra Blu-ray DVD, obviously, and they also have HDR as well, which is absolutely awesome. And then another thing I show you guys is basically how it compares compared to the original Xbox One and also the PlayStation 4 Pro. So this is basically a chart that uh, Digital Foundry, they basically are the ones that revealed this information about the Xbox One because this product Scorpio, they actually got to test it out early. So this is based in Xbox released this as well to them. So basically, this is pretty much the differences. So if you look at the CPU, obviously, uh, Project Scorpio has an eight custom uh, time 68 cores clocked at 2.3 gigahertz compared to Xbox One's which is eight custom Jaguar cores clocked at 1.75 gigahertz, and PS4 Pro has eight Jaguar cores clocked at 2.1 gigahertz. So Scorpio takes advantage on that. And when it comes to GPU, uh, Scorpio has 40 customized compute units at 1172 MHz, uh, uh, Xbox One has 12 GCN compute units at 853 MHz, and the Xbox One has 914 MHz, so Project Scorpio has a definite advantage. And PlayStation 4 only gets 911 MHz at uh, 36 improved GCN compute units at, yeah, I'm saying 911. 911. Uh, memory, now this is pretty cool. 12 gigs of GDDR5 RAM, which is like the best kind of like memory system you could have on a console, which is ever. I mean, DDR5 with 12 gigs is, I mean, PS4 Pro only has 8 gigs of GDDR5 RAM. So that, and also, uh, Xbox One is DDR3 and 32 uh, MBs of ES RAM. So the Scorpio, man, the memory is absolutely insane. 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. The memory bandwidth, 325 gigs compared to Xbox One, which had uh, 68 gigs. And Xbox One S had, or at least RAM at max was 204 gigs, and the Xbox One S was 219 gigs. PlayStation 4 Pro is only 218 gigs, so the memory bandwidth goes to Project Scorpio. And when it comes to the hard drive, same as PlayStation 4 Pro, they both have a one terabyte, 2.5 inch hard drives. And obviously, you guys can buy, you know, you can buy, you can buy more, you know, memory with uh, other things. And Xbox One is 500 gigabytes, and you can obviously, you know. With the Xbox One S, you can get up to two terabytes. The optical drive is 4K UHD Blu-ray compared to Blu-ray for just for Xbox One, and the Xbox One S has 4K UHD as well. And PS4 Pro has regular Blu-ray. So now, based on all this, um, Xbox One is said to have a obviously a quarter four release date. If you guys did not know, and it looks like it obviously is coming holiday 2017, and uh, 
the good thing about Scorpio, it's going to natively play any Xbox, it's going to be able to nat nat natively upscale any Xbox One game currently up to 4K, which it, the PlayStation 4 Pro cannot do. And I have a PlayStation 4 Pro, I really love it. I think it's really good. But I think this console, this Xbox One Project Scorpio, has a chance to, I mean, based on the specs, is look, it is a better console. We'll see how it is with, you know, games and everything, but it looks absolutely insane with these specs. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about these specs. Once again, quarter four, uh, 20, uh, 2017 will be out, and the estimated price is around $500, which I mean, may seem a lot, but with all this, you know, hard drive pack and all this, you know, freaking, you know, strength packed into this console, you know, toughness, I mean, geez, it's probably going to be worth this price. Well, I'd like, thank you guys so much for watching this video, guys. Guys, if we go for 500 likes, it'd be greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Project Scorpio. Let me know if you guys are going to get it. Will this be the uh, world's most powerful console? Or will PlayStation release something even better very soon? Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, I appreciate it. And I'm definitely going to pick this up for you guys and do an unboxing when I get it. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.